Hey guys, today we are in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania, and we are at 1 Lincoln Square, right here in the square of Gettysburg. We're ready to head into 1 Lincoln Food and Spirits for lunch. We get to sit outside and watch the traffic go by. We've never been here before, but their specialty is crab mac and cheese, and I cannot pass that up. So are you ready, Bobby? Ready. Let's rock and roll. Let's rock and roll. Here are the hours, 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. Sunday through Thursday, 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. Friday and Saturday, and there are the bar hours. Now, One Lincoln Food and Spirits is part of the Gettysburg Hotel that was established in 1797. It's right here. Have to stay there sometime. Go through this place. All right. Let's go in and look at this. We're gonna sit out here though. All right, let's walk in the main door. Let's look at the menu here at One Lincoln Food and Spirits. Hopefully you can hear me over all these trucks. Now they have a very extensive dinner menu, pretty fancy. I think they have lamb and other things on it. Might have to come here for that sometime. But today, just lunch. Starters and salad. They have a soft pretzel, Maryland crab soup. There's some different salads, Greek garden. You can add some chicken, steak, shrimp, or salmon to these salads. Flatbread and entrees. Roasted artichoke flatbread, but the bottom one is the one you have to get. Crab mac and cheese. That is the signature dish at this restaurant. And at dinner time, I'm thinking it's almost $30. Sandwiches and wraps served with chips, waffle fries, or fresh Fruit. You can substitute sweet potato fries for $2 or add a sunny side up egg for another two. It's a BLT jerk chicken sandwich, pulled pork. Here's what Bobby's gonna get, the Reuben sandwich. We asked the waitress, she recommended that, said it's very popular here. Some wraps. Almost got the feta mole burger. Has the feta guacamole on it. That's probably pretty decent. And they have a Beyond Burger. And again, we're just sitting out here in the square, taking in the traffic. Beautiful day. All right, guys, I just brought out our food. There's their signature dish. The one thing you have to get if you come here, the crab mac and cheese. It has macaroni, creamy jumbo lump crab in it, the bechamel, I think is how you pronounce that sauce, just like a white sauce, but they have some cheddar cheese in there and herbed brioche croutons crumbled up in there. I'm ready to tear into that. And here's Bobby's Reuben. That consists of corned beef, sauerkraut, Swiss cheese, Thousand Island dressing, grilled Gettysburg Baking Company, rye bread. And she went a little healthy today with some fruit, but that corned beef looks pretty good from right here where I'm sitting. Look at all that corned beef, and I'm losing some of my Swiss cheese. <laughs> Look at that. It's got the sauerkraut, Thousand Islands. They really? loaded that up with the corned beef. Very cheesy. Very cheesy. There's a nice toasted rye bread. 
which they make here in town at their bakery. I love sauerkraut. I know John's not a fan of the Reuben, I think because of the sauerkraut, but the Swiss cheese, look at all that melted on there. Good quality corned beef. I mean, they grilled it really nice, buttery. I went with uh, cantaloupe, honeydew, and pineapple in there. You could have got fries, but I thought I'd get cantaloupe because when it's hot outside, I like fruit. Let's try one of the cantaloupe. See how it is in season. Cantaloupe's not too bad. Had a little bit of sweetness, but it is early in the year for it. Decent meal, mm -hmm. Bobby, for lunch. And you cannot beat the view here. It is a nice view. It's We enjoy watching the cars, but it's a little noisy sometimes. Here it goes. <laughs> a lot of trucks. Mm -hmm. Let's take another look at the crab mac and cheese. Look at that thick sauce. Man, look, there's a lot of crab meat in there. But that is thick. Can you see that crab meat, Bobby? You probably can smell it over there. It's just all blended in there. Chopped up really fine. Let's just go with this. Let's get some on here. Look at that. Look at all that cheese. There's a good shot, guys. You can kind of see the crab meat hanging off there. Now, when you bite into that, you get a little flavor of that mac and cheese sauce that they're using, but it's just so flavorful of crab. It just tastes like crab and cheese, not mac and cheese. So there must be a lot of crab meat in there. The noodles are prepared nice. They're not hard. It's a mild cheese sauce. I don't get a lot of that. I mean, it just blends in well. This sauce is a bechamel. It's a French sauce. I don't know a lot about that. I know there's milk and uh, what's that called, Bobby? Rouge yeah. or Rouge or whatever is how they make it. But they put these croutons on there. So I'm gonna put a little bit of those in there to get that crunch. Now on that second bite, I could get a little more of that cream flavor with that. Still a lot of crab meat. It's very sweet. The crunchiness of the croutons adds that to it, the crunch. But I could go with that either way. Don't really need croutons. This is a very good dish. I can see why this is the signature dish here. Again, I think I said earlier, you can get this at dinner time. I think it's 30 bucks, 28 or 30 bucks. This is time to come in and try it at lunch. I have to have Bobby try this because she likes this kind of stuff too. All right, I got a little bit of everything on mine. That is very good. I like the croutons on the mac and cheese. Oh, yeah. yeah, and I do get a lot of that crab taste to it. It's cheesy, but that's a nice size for lunch. I wonder how big it is at dinner time. Hey, I don't know. I don't know if it's the same size or not. Now, Bobby was talking about getting this dish at dinner time, what size it would be. I don't think it could be much bigger than that because this is very thick sauce. It would fill you up. I know you guys are salivating out there. I'm gonna give you a little bit of the signature dish here from Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. Get you some crab mac and cheese. Well, Bobby talked me into trying this Reuben, even though there's sauerkraut on there, but. That corned beef just looks amazing, so I'm going at it right here and get some of this Thousand Islands and Swiss cheese. Now, that's a pretty good sandwich, and I'll tell you for me what comes through on that is the corned beef. You can really get a lot of flavor from that. A little bit of that sauerkraut, a little sweetness from that Swiss cheese and that crunch from that rye bread. Even though I don't like sauerkraut, I would order that sandwich. It's just that good. Looks like you don't have much left there. Nope. Huh? Look at that, guys. Now, I am full, but that was just the right size. I couldn't have eaten much more than that. And you don't need any sides with that. You got it all there. An abundance, again, of crab meat in there. Even though you can't see a lot of it, it's shredded so fine, it's just full of it. Well, they brought out the dessert menu, and I'm going to give you guys a second to think about which one we are going to order. I bet you all picked the dark and white chocolate mousse. Nope. We're going with the Boston Cream Cake Bomb, but everything on here looks pretty good. $8. There's our Boston Cream Cake Bomb. That's a vanilla sponge cake with the Boston cream inside it and this dark chocolate coating on the outside. And a little bit of whipped cream looks like on the side of it. Bobby's gonna try it. It's a pretty presentation. 
way they drizzled the chocolate over it. Mm -hmm. Inside there. Oh yeah, you can see that Boston cream at the top. Cake looks nice. Take a look at it this way. All right. I'm glad we went with this one, John. It's a nice light cake. Got a little bit of that cream in there. I didn't get a whole lot of it because it's so chocolatey on yeah, top. The cream's up at the top. I can and it's a uh, cold cake. Very good. Yeah, it's starting to sweat because it's about 80 degrees outside. I'm going to try it real quick. I'm going right at this cream up top. I'm going to show it to you. There, you can kind of see that cream, guys. Look at that. That's what I'm going after, this piece. Now, you can tell that just came out of the refrigerator because that vanilla custard up top is very cold. Nice flavor of the dark chocolate. I like the texture of that sponge cake. Now this is a good dessert. You know who this is? It's yours. There you go. I already gave you a bite of crab mac and cheese. Now you're going to get some of this nice Boston cream cake. Bobby and I have this almost finished, but after eating a few more bites of this, this cake is so light. That chocolate feels so heavy on there and just takes over the thing with that cream. Thank you. Thank you so much. Worth getting. Here's our receipt. Crab mac and cheese 18, Bobby's Reuben 12, Pepsi 2, the Boston Cream Cake Bomb 8. Grand total 4240. Well, I know you guys probably want me to walk in to the lobby of this hotel just to see what it looks like. So let's just head in for a second. Now from inside the hotel, this is your entrance. Come in through the bar area. It's closed right now. See some of the seating. Nice little cute place. Have a fireplace up here in front of these seats. And goes down through there around and down this side and outside this is kind of maybe like a fine dining experience is what it looks like to me and on this wall is the Gettysburg address that's a nice little effect I like the lighting in here though some old newspapers Well, we just left one Lincoln Food and Spirits here in Gettysburg. What did you think about it, Bobby? First, I want to give a shout out to Victoria, our waitress. She helped us pick out what dessert, a couple other things that were most popular on the menu. Thanks for telling us some ideas about what to get. I enjoyed sitting outside. Um, I got the Reuben sandwich. The rye bread is made here at one of the local bakeries. Had good quality corned beef on it. Saw all that Swiss cheese. I thought everything was good. Now, I could have got waffle fries from my side, but I decided to go with the fruit just because it's such a hot day. Now, I got the signature dish for that place, the crab mac and cheese. That's worth getting, guys. I know you couldn't see a lot of that crab in there, but take it from me, it was shredded nice. It wasn't like lump crab meat all through it. It was just shredded. Every bite of that mac and cheese, you just got an abundance of crab flavor. I would get that again. And I told you about the prices. That's $18 at lunch and like $30 at dinner time. And we asked her, and she said, what, it's just a little bit bigger little bit at big. dinner? Mm -hmm. So if you want that, come for lunch. That is a higher end restaurant at dinner time. You might have to come back and try that. You guys can go online and see their menu. Sitting outside is what we love to do here at Gettysburg. Never been there. I'm glad we picked that spot. And I think they serve breakfast also. Worth coming to, guys. Now that dessert is something I think you also should pick up. We normally don't get desserts for lunch, but that sounded so good. 
And it delivered on it with that vanilla custard and that dark chocolate on the top. And it was a light cake also. And it was very light cake. It's worth $8. I mean, you're in a resort town, mm -hmm. so you're going to pay a little more. So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Yeah, so until we meet again, J&B have left the building.